Happy Women's History Month. This month, I'm sharing stories of women and groups of women who have changed my life. Last week, I had the honor to sit with Chief Warrant Officer 5, retired Phyllis Wilson, who is the president of the Military Women's Memorial for their Her Story campaign. If you wear the uniform now or have ever worn a military uniform, join this national registration campaign. Today, their database includes nearly 300,000 military women's stories, but about 3 million women have served in or with the armed forces since the American Revolution. We need your help to reach the 2.7 million women whose stories will be lost to history if not recorded and preserved for generations to come at our memorial. We need you to help preserve our history. As of today, 90% of female veterans have not registered. Do you have a family member or friend who is a woman veteran? She deserves to take her rightful place in history. Without her story, our nation's history is incomplete. Register for free at womensmemorial.org. Now before CWO 5 Wilson, there was Army Major General D. McWilliams. Prior to Major General McWilliams was the visionary, the founder, and now the President Emeritus of the Memorial, Air Force Brigadier General Wilma Vaught. General Vaught was one of the first female generals I interviewed for my dissertation back in the mid-2000s. It seems like yesterday. This staff sergeant was so nervous to meet the leader of the Women in Military Service for America movement. She was and continues to be a rock star. There are many things that you may know about General Vaught, such as under her leadership, the nonprofit foundation built and operates the $22.5 million Women's Memorial, the only major memorial to pay tribute to the nearly 3 million women who have served in the nation's defense, beginning with the American Revolution. You may know that she was named Veteran Advocate of the Year by the National Association of State Directors of Veterans Affairs, or that she was the recipient of the National Organization for Women, NOW, Intrepid Award. If you're not familiar about NOW, visit them at now.org. What you may not know is that this amazing giant for years was one of the nation's most highly decor decorated military women and the only woman for some 22 years to achieve general officer rank in the comptroller field. You may not know that the White House honored her as champion of change in 2013 or that the National Graduate School established the Brigadier General Wilma L. Vaught Military Women Service Scholarship in General Vaught's honor. Amazing. When you go to the womensmemorial.org website, go to the About tab up top and click on Leadership. You'll read about other leaders such as Marilla, Donna, and Britta, that are behind the scenes with so many others. While you are there at the About tab, read about the legacy of the memorial. You'll see how the efforts and tireless leadership of General Vaught led to President Ronald Reagan's signing of Public Law 610 on November 6, 1986 to authorize the establishment of our memorial. There is so much more you can discover on their website. Just go check it out. You can screen films like the documentary about the six triple eights, or you can visit their online gift shop and find items like this information packed DVD, Call to Serve, A History of America's Military Women, and the documentary about the World War I's Hello Girls. 
there are books, there's attire, there are legacy collection mementos from our memorial that has the logo on it. There's so much to see in person when it is safe to do so, but right now you can explore right from your home at the, about the memorial online. While the memorial will be around forever, it's now your chance to be a part of what General Vaught, living legend, and, and rock star created. Please make sure your story is in thewomensmemorial.org. Until we meet again during Women's History Month to find more about women rock stars. Until then.